Students often believe that matter can only be classified by one physical property, but that's just not true. Welcome to Split Second Science. In this video, we will discover how matter can be classified based on multiple physical properties. And we'll show how to deepen students' understanding by implementing two of HISD's elementary science best practices, concept wall and realia. We'll perform four investigations to address the fifth grade science TEKS 5.5a as it pertains to physical properties. Keep in mind, this lesson aligns with the instructional practice rubrics I3, I6, and I7. Throughout our lesson, we'll focus on two guiding questions. What are the physical properties of matter that we can observe? And how is matter classified? We'll record our answers in our student notebook. Remember, matter can be in the form of liquids, solids, or gases. And when we look at an object, we can see many of its properties. Let's watch as the teacher development specialist takes us on our journey of discovery. Here's a quick demonstration of how we can test an object for multiple physical properties. The object that I've chosen for today is a metal paper clip. Here I have a picture of the metal paper clip and over here I have an actual paper clip to represent realia. We will test this metal paper clip for four different physical properties. First, we're going to test for its physical state. Is it a solid, liquid, or gas? Second, magnetism. Is it magnetic? Third, relative density. Will it sink or float? And lastly, is this paper clip an insulator or a conductor? Let's observe this paper clip for its physical state. Is it a solid, liquid, or a gas? We know that this paper clip is made of metal and it does have a definite shape. So I'm going to say that this paper clip is a solid. To recall my observations, I'm going to use a chart that has been drawn in a student notebook that lists multiple physical properties. And as you can see, the metal paper clip is listed and under physical state, I've written in the word solid. The next physical property that we're going to test for is going to be magnetism. Is this paper clip magnetic? I'm going to use this magnet to see if the paper clip will attract to this magnet. As you can see, it is attracted to the magnet, so we know that this paper clip is magnetic. Now, I'm gonna go back to my student notebook, and under the word magnetism, I'm gonna write in the word yes. Two more investigations to go. Next up, is it an insulator or a conductor? Will it sink or float? Is this metal paper clip an insulator or is it a conductor? I'm going to use it to close this electrical circuit and the goal is to get the light bulb to light up. And as you can see, the light bulb is lit, so this metal paper clip is an electrical conductor. I'm going to write my observation in the student notebook on the chart with the list of multiple physical properties. And the last and final physical property that we're gonna test is gonna be relative density. Will the paper clip sink or will it float? So I'm gonna take the paper clip and I'm gonna drop it in this container of water. As you can see, the paper clip went straight to the bottom, so it did sink. So as far as relative density, this paper clip is more dense than the water because it sank to the bottom. I'm gonna record this observation Again, in my student notebook entry on this chart, so under relative density, I'm gonna write the word sink. Now, the information that we recorded in our student notebook for the metal paper clip is that the physical state is a solid. Yes, it is magnetic. Relative density, it did sink, and it is a great electrical conductor. We will then take this information from this chart and we will transfer it to a concept wall. Now we'll go to the concept wall where we have posted realia to support and deepen student learning. 
Realia are objects from real life used as teaching tools to improve students' understanding. Realia is often placed on bulletin boards and interactive word concept walls. Concept walls are an organized way to support deeper understanding of content and to build academic vocabulary. These types of walls provide an opportunity for students to interact with information in a variety of ways. On this concept wall, I've placed the metal paper clip under the physical properties in which we've tested. So in physical state, I have it under solid. Then I'm gonna go over to relative density. This paper clip, as we know, it did sink to the bottom, so I placed it under sink. Now I'm gonna to go to the column that says magnetism. This paper clip was magnetic, so I placed it in the column under magnetism. I'm gonna then go over to the column that's labeled conductors. We know that it did conduct electricity for that electrical circuit, so I placed that metal paper clip under conductors. Here's a quick recap of what we've covered in this video. We implemented two of HISD Science Best Three Practices, Concept Wall and Realia. We proved that matter can be classified in multiple ways, we showed that the teacher's role is to provide students an opportunity to manipulate materials and equipment during the learning within a flexible environment, and to guide students to connect vocabulary and concepts to real life via the use of concrete models. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other segments of Split Second Science.